So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Oregon Ducks and the LSU Tigers. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Tigers are looking at an uphill climb tonight, Dick. What are the keys to victory for? Here are my keys for him, Brad. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. And lastly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Both teams looking to get things going here. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He's money with the shot. Dumps it in. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They look to get it to the inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Launches the three. Goes. Trying to go inside. The center gets the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He nails the bucket. That's an eight-zip run. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Trying to feed inside. Number three is pretty fired up and excited. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The center with the ball. Fakes it. Nice fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Number 12 gets the pass. Hard foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. The Ducks go to the line for the first time in this game. Good. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got him a nylon in the end. The shooting guard takes the feed. He looks at the hoop. Executes the baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block kick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Number three takes the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And the frustration right there. 
Looking to move it around the perimeter. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches the bomb. He gets the bucket to fall. Number three fakes the shot. He fakes the shot. Goes up for two. They've yet to put together a decent string of good looks at the basket. Hey, they're getting frustrated and playing right into the defense's hands. Stolen away. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Gets it to go. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. And off the mark. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, beating the post. This crowd is unbelievable today. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. He'll visit the charity strike. First shot, good. He misses the second. He gets the rebound. Both teams are looking to get something going here. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For two, they still don't score. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Way off target. Contact causes the shot to come off. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's Craig. Here's the back. block from behind. My man was on a mission. Anticipation defensively. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Turns it over. Gave it up. Look at that spacing. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Number one draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll shoot two. He makes the first shot. Free throws go. I 
isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, straight up front right now, you've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. And he got them both. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Double team now, bad angle. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. He lets it go. Sinks it. On the inside. Tries for two. And in and out. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He hammers it home. My goodness, Mr. Nelson, that was phenomenal, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a jump hook. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Attempts the three, scorches the net. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Now the high screen. Nick, are they being taken out of their game offensively? Hey, they're taking themselves out of the game by rushing bad shots and not executing an offense. And he'll kick it back outside. Takes away the pass. High post flashes for the opportunity. He fires from long range. Way off target. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Solid work getting back on D. Up and inside. There's the pick. There's the roll. Perfectly executed. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He gets the shot to fall. Working around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. And now the fadeaway jumper. They're not doing a very good job of finding the hoop tonight, Dick. Well, they're not working the ball around. They're not finding the open man. From right in the circle. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. The fake. Fake. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's a 7 nothing run. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. He'll go to the line. He can't buy one. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. Thanks, Aaron the rim and no good. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Got a man in high post. Number one with the fake. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Dick, I'm really impressed at how quickly they get back on defense. I'm more impressed with how quickly they respond to the correct rotations. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. From the top of the key, he drains the shot. They are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. There's a double team waiting there. They'll work it around the arc. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal oh he's humiliated poor job defensively let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews well Brad and Dick I don't know if you can hear it but I can hear it clearly down here the coach is stressing go inside go inside they've been affected all night long that way what an asset to have guys I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action Over City that will always really negate any offense. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. And he missed. Go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up.
for two. He hits it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for the saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tight D here. The post flashes up high if he wants it. There's a slam. Side. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented the guards up there. Yeah, that helps. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. And a momentary look from three-point land. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Way off target. They're working around the perimeter. Good fake. And they come with a double team to stop it. Number four comes up with it. And back they come the other way. Tries for two. Got it. Let's slow this one down on a replay. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Opportunity for two for one. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the outside. The power forward in the paint. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. With a big shot. He misses the three. At the half, the Ducks are behind by 11. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Oregon has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. 
Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking it. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Kicks it out. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Gave it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He gets it to go. Hits that one. Makes them all. The Ducks are behind by 15. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Off the rim and no good. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Rims out. On the outside. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Working around the perimeter for two. And he scores despite the hack. There's a high screen. Off the rim and no good. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Shoots from left of the circle. Nails the long-range bomb. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively.
the dribble, gives it up. The point guard handles the feed. Questionable call there, Dick. That's one of those balls that can go either way. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Makes his first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. it around the perimeter he dials long distance off target and he'll kick it back outside Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you what a great job at a defensive player he's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. He lets it go. Rims out. He hammers it home. You can only see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just through excitement with that jam. Spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Looking for a good shot. The point guard handles the pass. There's the rejection. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me. Misses the first shot. He hits the second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. For two, they still don't score. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brian. Pressure that basketball. It's stolen. And now it's coast to coast the other way, and look out. He's money with a shot. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. The center receives the pass with the fake. Double team now, bad angle. Looking for contact. The layup is good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. 
harm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the free throw. He makes the first shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. paint. Here's a double team. He pump fakes. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. From the top of the circle. He made good use of the screen but the shot fell off. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. And he goes with a spin and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. The center receives the ball. Off the rim and no good. to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gets the rejection. Way off target. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He intercepts it. For the deuce, we've got a blowout so far, folks. Hey, when you're down this much late, you have to make sure you don't fall into any bad habits. You have to treat this like a practice now. Picks off the lazy pass. Moving it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. Executes the baby hook. Rims out. Number 10 is down emotionally right now, Dick. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. On the inside. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Up and in. Here's another look at the play. They work 
the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. Strong rebound, and now looking to move it down court in a hurry. Now they've got to get out and pull the lanes, Brad. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Big man spins down. The dunk counts and the foul, Dick. He's a high riser, baby. Boy, was that pretty. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. He hits it. That's an 11 zip run. seen him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Up and inside. He puts up the tray. LSU have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Gave it up from three-point range. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. For two, off the rim and no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. On the dribble, gives it up. He throws it up from downtown. How many bricks have we seen? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Great defense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. It's good. The Ducks are down by 28. On the outside, he takes the shot. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. From the top of the key, drains it. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. They work it around the perimeter. The fake. He lets it fly. They get it to go. Trying to get that 
that ball movement, get that good spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They'll work it around the arc. Fakes the shot. There's the trap. They run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Way off target. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and then he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Tries for two, and off the mark. He intercepts it. Fake. Here's a flash from the high post. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tougher than I am the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Now they work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Makes it. Take another look at that play. Screen. So effective that screen. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot they work the perimeter takes the pass in the paint easy one Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Rims out. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. For the bucket. And he missed. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside, he launches a three. Off the rim and no good. Defender right up on the ball. Come with a double team to stop it. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little 
intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The Tigers is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.